Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make this exact smoke animation in Blender. It's going to be fairly quick and easy and as always if you have any questions you can just leave them in the comments. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And then click X to delete the default cube. And then go into Create and add a UV Sphere. And then you want to go into the modifiers and add a Subdivision Surface modifier. And then increase the amount of uh, subdivisions. And then add smooth shading. Okay, go into Object and then add a Quick Effect, which is the Quick Smoke Effect. And then select the Domain. And click S to Scale. And then G set to grab it on the set axis. Click S set to scale it on the set axis and then G set again to grab it on the set axis. Okay, and then it's time to uh, go into the smoke settings. So uh, let's increase the resolution to 150. If you have a very slow computer, you might want to decrease the amount of divisions, but I'm going to keep it at 150 for the final animation. It's probably going to take some time before the uh, smoke animation is done but uh, I'm going to pause the animation and start adding lighting to the scene. So select the lamp, then go into the sun settings, change it to sun, and then increase the size to 1. Click use nodes and increase the strength to about 6. Click G to grab the sun, and then R to rotate. And if we go into render view, you will see what the smoke looks like. Okay, so click shift set to go back to solid view. And let's start adding the materials. And I'm also going to switch to GPU. If you don't have one, that's okay. And then make the background a little bit darker. And then let's open a new window and switch from 3D view to uh, the node editor. Just make sure to select the domain and then uh, zoom in and delete the attributes. And we're going to replace this one with a uh, RGB node, which is for the color of the smoke. So, uh, Connect it to uh, the color for the uh, volume scatter and the volume absorption and then change the color to the color you want uh, for your smoke. So let's make it blue and I click shift set to see what it looks like. And now we have the blue smoke. Okay, so select the uh, sphere as well. Let's add a quick material. You won't really see it in the final animation, but I'm just going to give it kind of a dark glossy shade. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to duplicate the sphere and the domain and make a second one. So uh, let's select it, hold in shift and click shift D to duplicate and then G, then shift set to grab the duplication only on the X and Y axis. And then I'm going to add a new material for this one, so click the plus sign for the material and then you can change the color. So I'm going to make this one maybe a little bit uh, greenish and then the same for the sphere. And then again, we need to go back to the uh, first frame and play the animation to simulate the smoke. It's probably going to take some time. As you can see, I'm speeding up the uh, video because I only got like uh, one frame per second. But now it's time to uh, move the camera. So click numpad zero to see through the camera. And I click shift F to use the fly cam and move around with W, A, S and D. So uh, you can also turn uh, the gravity on and off by clicking tab. And I'm going to find a good spot for my thumbnail. So click shift set again to go into render view, see what it looks like. And I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit more before we start tweaking the render settings. So uh, I think something like this. Let's click the camera icon, which is the render settings, and increase the resolution quality to 100%, 30 FPS, and then find a place where you want to save the final animation. So make a new folder somewhere on your computer give it a name, select it, and then give the uh, images a name. I'm just going to call them Toots. And then let's scroll down to the sampling. The video is going to look better the higher the value is. So I'm going to set it to around 250. And if you have a slow computer, you probably want to make it a little bit uh, smaller and even higher if you have a fast computer. So let's just uh, play the animation a little bit more and see how many frames we need. So I'm probably just going to animate to around frame 150. So let's just move the camera a bit. Left click to confirm the position of the camera and then change the end frame to around 150. Okay, and then I'm going to click animation. 
If you had any problems with this tutorial, you can just leave a comment below and make sure to show me your final animation. If you want to take your Blender skills to the next level, you can also get the Great Tank Course made by me, which is available at Udemy.com. So thanks for watching and subscribe.